Today we will be tying a mini surf candy. I'm going to use this short shank Gamagatsu SC15 hook in size 1. Place the hook securely in your vise. You will want some monofilament thread as it is clear and will show the materials through it. Start your thread a little ways down the hook shank. Position really doesn't matter. And then cut off the waist. Now bring your thread down to the start of the bend of the hook. Then bring up to just behind the eye. For the body of the fly, I'm using this Crystal Web by Fly Tires Dungeon. You can choose the colors you want, but today I'm going to use hot clear white for the belly and hot chartreuse for the back. Clip off just a few strands. Here, it's about six. Then fold them in half and cut them to make the strands half length. Now place them on the underside of the hook and tie them in directly in the middle of the bunch. While holding the material, wrap back to the start of the bend of the hook, ensuring that the material stays on the bottom of the hook. Then bring the forward facing fibers rearward and tie them down on the other side of the shank, directly under the hook shank. Now bring your thread back up to just behind the eye of the hook. Now we will need the same amount of chartreuse crystal web. Prepare it in the same way as the white and then tie it in on top of the hook, directly behind the eye of the hook in the center of the bunch. Then bring your thread back to the start of the bend as well, ensuring that the material stays on top of the hook shank. Then pull all the forward facing fibers rearward and tie them down and bring your thread back up to the eye of the hook. Now we will need one strand of crystal flash. In this case, I'm going to use thin lateral scale. Tie the strand in so it extends back about halfway down the tail of the fly. Bring your thread down to the start of the bend of the hook, ensuring that the flash stays on the side of the hook like so. Bring your thread up just a few wraps and then pull the forward facing flash rearward and tie it down on the side of the hook. Make sure it's positioned correctly and tie down to the start of the bend of the hook as well. Bring your thread back up to the eye of the hook and whip finish your fly. Now you can trim off the waist and you are done with the tying portion of this fly. Now we will need some UV resin. In this case I'm using Solares Thin Formula. And we will need some eyes. In this case I'm using 4mm size eyes from Fly Tires Dungeon. However, any 3D eyes will work like these from Risen as well. Pull off two eyes and place them on your hand for preparation. Add a dot of UV resin behind the hook eye on both sides. Now place one eye on one side and the other eye on the other. And make sure they're positioned evenly, looking from the top of the hook, the side of the hook, and straight on as well. When they are positioned correctly, then tap it with your UV light and they will stay put. Now with more of the thin solar res UV resin, add it along the hook shank between the eyes and back slightly into the tail. Keep the vise rotating to make sure the resin doesn't drip and make sure it's evenly coated along the hook. Now pull back the tail material to be tight and straight, and then zap it with your UV light to harden the resin. Now to shape the body, we will need some thicker resin like this thick formula by Solares. Spread it along the shank, making sure to coat the entire body. You can use a bodkin to spread it around evenly. Try to get both sides as even as possible, and I also like to make a larger belly on the fly as well.
Once you're happy with the shape, then cure it. Don't worry, it does not have to be perfect. We will fix any lumpy areas in a minute. Now this isn't needed, but I like coloring part of the fly with some markers. I really like Shark Pack markers, but you could use colored Sharpies as well. I like coloring the top with chartreuse to make it even brighter. And then add a little bit of orange for the belly to look like a gill or egg sac. Now it won't look like anything is colored on right now. It will be very light. However, you will see a faint coloration when you put UV resin on it. Now we will fill in the sparse areas with a little more of the thick resin. I'm adding a little bit on top and on the bottom. You can use a bodkin to make sure it's shaped how you want it. Whenever working with resin, make sure the fly is spinning at all times while you're looking at it. And then when you're happy with it, cure it once again. You could do this step a few more times if you need, but I am happy with the look. Now we will use the ultra thin resin to smooth it out and make a really hard coat. This will fill in small bumps. Now I'm doing two coats of this. Cure it with the light both times. Make sure your flash is even on both sides and then trim the tail to make it tapered. I usually do this in hand, but for the sake of the video, I'm gonna do it on my vise. And there we go, the fly is now finished. I will be using this fly for some white bass when they start running in a few weeks, but it's a great fly for fishing any fish that like to eat small bait fish. By the way, I sell flies and fly boxes. The best way to order from me is to private message me on my Instagram. But if you don't have an Instagram, you could go on my YouTube homepage, click the About button, and then go down to the Contact button and click it, and then it'll give you my email. Just shoot me an email with your order. I custom tie flies so I can tie just about anything you can think up. Anyways, thanks for watching everyone. I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.